What's up, everybody? Jacob here from the Nutrition Store, <laughs> and I am joined with IFBB Pro Chris Kakoris today. <laughs> What's going on, Chris? How you doing? Good, good. man. Good, dude. Thank yeah. you for coming and uh, sitting down with us. No, I'm excited. I've yeah, been looking man. forward to this. A little backstory from me. You know, Chris is a local fitness icon in Spartanburg. You know, whether he'll admit it or not, he's kind of <laughs> he, he's the guy. He's the IFBB pro. I grew up in the gym with him here at Anytime Fitness in Bowling Springs, just kind of looking up to him. So it's really awesome to get him in here and kind of talk about his story. I appreciate the hype up. Yeah, sure. Well, dude, it's, <laughs> it's warranted. What was your start? Like getting into Working out. This is really like funny story. I, I never really looked into bodybuilding back when I started. Uh, I had a friend, pretty much, he was moving to California, had a bench set, and he was like, hey man, I'm not taking it with me. If you want it, you can have it. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, cool. Was, hey, free, <laughs> you know, free weights, much, man. I'm, I'm a, I'll start working out. Back then, uh, I looked up at 50 Cent. <laughs> this is, yeah, yeah. Right, no kidding. Back then, 50 Cent was like, you know, he's jacked. And I was yeah. like, man, I would be like 50 Cent too. <laughs> so that's what I did. I, I just started working out. After about a year of just training at my house, um, one of my friends took me to the gym. Uh -huh. And it was like a whole new world to me. Nice. So a lot of you guys out there that's just working out at your house, you can only get so far with just a bench set. There's a whole whole another world, like I said, yeah. just an opportunity to grow. You start working out. You got in the yeah. gym. And then that kind of became, did it, like, yeah, I kind of fell in love with it. Just the feeling, um, actually seeing the progress. And even then I didn't really know much what I was doing. I was asking football players, I guess after that, then, you know, by that time, I guess I first started working out, I was 18, 19. Okay. Um, so this was right after high school for the most part. And at that time I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do in my life, mm -hmm. you know, it's career, career wise. I was like, Oh, I should do personal training. Yeah. You know, cause I was like, well, I love being in the gym. Why not work in the gym, right? Started doing a little training here and there to get a little comfortable working with people. Decided to go to USC Upstate mm -hmm. and do their exercise science program. Did that, finished, graduated in 2015. So got a bachelor's in exercise science, uh, minor in psychology, which I thought was actually a really good match mm -hmm. because you're working with people. So you want to understand why they're thinking the way they're thinking right and what kind of makes them tick or what gets them motivated so i competed i started in 2013 uh did three shows my first year placed second at all three okay no coach no nothing that's good though i mean especially I mean, without experience yeah yeah the following year didn't do so good i did two shows fourth place at one and then i went to nationals for the first time mm -hmm. placed 11th i was looking around at the guys and i was like okay i'm missing something here you know like i don't Something, because you it was clear cut like who was gonna win. That very next year, I actually hired a good coach, uh, Jeremy Buendia. Nice. Uh, who at the time was two-time Mr. Olympia for men's physique division. And his coach was Hani Rambod. Okay, so yeah. so those are some big names. Yeah. You know, the, those of you who, who keep up with bodybuilding or the industry a little bit, those are some pretty prominent names. Yeah, yeah. so so Hani, I mean, he's a, what they call him the procreator. Yeah. He's actually Phil Heath's coach and uh, coached a lot of like top end mm -hmm. Olympians. So for me, I was like, okay, I'm gonna get basically like the hand down of the information yeah. from them. And I did, I learned a lot of his techniques, um, which I implement in a lot of my programs also now. By the time 2015, I, I was working with Jeremy and I told him, I was like, I wanna go pro. That's all our dreams, you know, let's go pro. My very first show, which was the same national show I placed at 11th, mm -hmm. I went back and took the overall and which earned me my, my pro status. You have six different classes, over 130 guys, yeah. and I took first, nice. which was like the, one of the highest times of my life, you know? I can everybody. imagine. I mean, especially all the, you know, the people who don't keep up with bodybuilding, they don't realize how much work goes into the prep process yeah. and like getting to that level of conditioning. The same year I turned pro was the same year I graduated college. Wow. So, so that's an eventful year for you, yeah. 2015. For anybody that, really want something you can make it happen yeah you know you got your pro card yeah there was it seems like there was that was a hell of a year right there 2015 yeah, yeah. something clicked and you started working with people more personally is that right or yeah, yeah yeah so i was still i was still doing some personal training on the side I actually after buendia i was working with a couple different coaches and i finally got one that was you know that i'm with currently also now which is terry placker okay with team fidelis and um i've learned a lot from him on as far as how to handle clients and also how to treat them. Um, 
and being very personable. I've, I've worked with a lot of coaches that just drop you. Yeah. They don't they don't answer your text. They don't call you. They just leave you hanging and dry. It's it's horrible. It's yeah. it's one of the worst feelings, you know, because you're relying on people that, and you're paying them. You're paying them money, and and they're not doing or fulfilling their end of the job. Right. So that's why I'm very personable with with all my clients. And so what happened was. Um, I just decided, hey, let's. I wanna. I'm gonna try and do a little side business, do some mm -hmm. online coaching. And actually, what I did, this is, I, I took, I reached out to a couple people, ten people. I was like, I'm just gonna pick ten. Didn't charge them anything. Mm -hmm. And I was like, all I want from you, I want you to follow my program, and I just want testimonies and pictures. Twelve weeks. Yeah. That's it. No money. That's what you got to do. Yeah. You got to get the ball yeah. rolling, man. I mean, you and can't, you know, you can't just come out and start asking for money yeah. from people. Yeah. So, <laughs> so but that, that helped kind of build your resume. For sure. How for was sure. the results on that? Uh, seven out of seven out of the 10 finished. Okay. And they okay. all, the seven that did finish had really good results. Nice. So that's what I did. I basically took their pictures their testimonies and then slowly I started, you know, people started finding out and referring me the way my online coaching process is is basically we fill out a form mm -hmm. we go through you know your whole lifestyle your statistics and then I build a custom program for you mm -hmm. for that individual so it's not like a cookie cutter there's no you, cookie you know cutter. no add to cart and no. have it emailed to you kind no, no, of yes no. okay good, good. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like that I don't like that and it doesn't work like that yeah as, as you know mm -hmm. um, everybody and even body body types yeah. handle different different macros differently also mm -hmm. so I'm very specific with how we do that. So we basically I build a program that goes from everything from your supplementation, cardio, workouts, all the way through, and we do pretty much weekly check-ins. Mm -hmm. So all my clients check in every Thursday morning. Yeah. So it's an accountability factor too. Of course. And I've had a lot of people, I've had a couple of them leave try to do it on their own and yeah. come back and say hey man no i, I, I yeah. need to stick with you well even yeah. you know it's a part of a part of training and coaching i mean that's psychology like you need to yeah. be there for somebody you know for a lot sure. of times people don't even need to be told what to do yeah it's just having somebody on their ass you know yeah. like tell, tell mm -hmm. them to do it you yeah. know or um, just in the back of their mind when they're like right. that cookies in front of you yeah and you mentioned diet and supplementation um you know i know you have a lot of your clients they shop with me here at the store yeah. what are the top three supplements that you find you're you're recommending your clients the most of first multivitamin mm -hmm. uh just for overall around health i suggest a whey protein so mm -hmm. this is uh basically just a this is not a meal replacement shake this is just to help supplement with your protein intake if we can't get it through your food right right so if we can get through your food then i don't i don't use it mm -hmm. and then i would say probably uh a good pre-workout if you need it if mm -hmm. you need a little boost i mean i know some guys are they're working and then they're going to work uh, work out after work yeah. so they feel a little drained just keep it really simple the basics you know yeah and that's that's kind of what we stand for here so that's that's the top three that you kind of would probably advise people if, if they're working with you yeah that's something he and i've been talking about how can we collaborate together to make the experience better for you and for his clients watching this call it the cack stack <laughs> and so <laughs> yeah. what i want to do anybody who's watching this and you need to re-up on those three items a, a two pound protein a multivitamin and a pre-workout of some kind we're going to combo those so we're going to call it the cack stack yeah and uh, we're going to give you 10 percent off that purchase every time so you know if you want to combine those three you get a discount immediately in addition to that man what's coming new for you i mean what what's coming up i started a business called cac performance you can go to cacperformance.com so it's k-a-k performance.com and uh that'll kind of give you a little deeper um background of myself mm -hmm. uh it'll actually show some testimonies and clients that i've, I've worked with um, and now I've gone into back into full-time personal training clients. Good for you. So I'm at the Firm Fitness over in the west side of Spartanburg. Very nice. Um, doing clients over there. So if, you, if you're interested, reach out to me. We can kind of talk about what program might work best for you. Also, anybody that doesn't have a gym membership right now, mm -hmm. um, if you're looking to get a gym membership, you want to come to the firm, if you come and you sign up, get a membership at the gym, I will do a free training session with That's them. That's awesome. Yeah. So good little incentive there. I mean, guys, yeah. It's it's Christmas time. So I mean, yeah. look, I know if you're watching this in about three weeks, you're gonna be sitting on your sorry ass, looking in the mirror, <laughs> wanting to get a New Year's resolution started, but he's here to hold you accountable. Yeah. Uh, any kind of good coach, and I can vouch for this guy with my life, any kind of good coach is gonna hold you accountable. And that's the problem that you're facing when it comes to sticking true to those resolutions or even a change that you set for yourself. Yeah. So, you know, if this is something that you're interested in or even remotely talking to yourself about in your head, give him a call. I mean, get get invested in it. Let's, let's take some action. This is the new year. 
You know, if you want to wait to the new year to start your goals, you can. But I mm-hmm. think you should start right now. Yeah. You know, take yeah. take that first step. Why not get ahead in life mm-hmm. and ahead into your goals into the new year yeah. to to reach what you really want to reach? I'm here to help. Mm-hmm. So if you feel lost or you feel uncomfortable, that's what I'm here for. Or even if you want to start maximizing your potential, yeah, that's that's really what I'm here for. Exactly. So shoot me a message you know and let's 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 get this thing rolling i'm I'm ready to help all you guys and please reach out go to my facebook go to my instagram chris underscore underscore kokoris uh reach out to the clients that i've worked with just ask them yeah ask them how i am you know if and that'll give you a better understanding you know the way you know my my athletes and and my clients talk about me will give you more confidence in working with me also no doubt no doubt well chris thanks for coming and and joining us for a conversation here man Uh, i've enjoyed it and guys and girls, like he said, check him out on Instagram, Facebook. Go to his website, cacperformance.com. And as always, we appreciate you tuning in. We will see you next time.